Hey everybody, it's Tim from For All Man and Kind again, here to show you my first Iron Man build that I've been working on. So I've been working on this uh, ever since the game came out. I did do the early access stuff, and I've really, really been enjoying the game. I play Iron Man primarily as my main, um, and this is just kind of something simple to show you what I myself have been building, and how I've been building them, and how it works. And it's a very, very simple build, but I see it to be almost one of the most effective ways that I have tried. I've done some other things, I've worked with some other things, and I'll go into that, but I'm gonna show you why I chose this route and what this route is. So this clearly, and I think honestly, most Iron Man will be the, a ranged person, right? I mean, he has such a big arsenal range-wise, like why would you not go that route? But you can go melee, I've seen a few people go that. I did think about going heroic for a bit, for like the first half of my playthrough, I was really focusing on that, so you know, my like my Unabeam and stuff would do massive damage, but, uh, I decided I'd rather have more consistent, constant damage versus a one-off uh, laser. So my range rating is at 2858, with me focusing primarily on precision. Now you can focus on uh, Valor proficiency, both of which are good for crit and crit, crit chance and crit damage. I chose precision because I'd rather have a again a consistent, hard-hitting punch versus a uh, what do you want to say, 40, 50 percent chance crit while every other hit doesn't necessarily hit all that hard. And I'm not saying a crit build wouldn't work. Honestly, a crit build might be way better and might work very well. I just haven't really dived into that all that much. I'm going more precision to have more of a base damage. And plus, the higher base damage you have, the better your crits would wind up being anyway, right? So I'm rocking 68 precision with 15 valor and 19 uh, proficiency, meaning my crits are going to be 196% when they do hit... Uh, which is only about 18 to about 19% of the time, right? But the normal damage itself is 2416, and I'll show you what that relates to in-game. Um, so I haven't really focused a whole lot on the gear perks yet, just because it's so hard in this game to find the perks that go well with the stats that you want, right? So I haven't really, I haven't really messed with that too much. Ideally, um, I've seen some things that like uh, increase just the base damage of your your range attack, so that's probably where I would want to go if I can get a set of armor of my choosing, it'd be something like that. But for now, we're focusing primarily on the stats on the right-hand side. So again, proficiency, precision, perfect, precision, profi proficiency, blah, 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 words. Um, this piece, I do have a little bit of might with, um, just primarily because, you know, I don't want my melee to be absolutely terrible. Um, with this build, it is... It is needed to know you are basically a glass cannon. You will hit like a truck, but you will get taken down very easily if you're not careful. And for those of you who have played this game, you understand how many things can shoot you and these homing rockets that just don't leave you go, let you go. So you really got to play aggressive, but make sure you're watching your back. Otherwise, you can go down very, very, very quickly, right? So Resolve. Resolve is to help us get a little bit more defense with Precision and Valor, of course, there. Now, I'm running, I think, five. Yeah, five Precision total stats on here. So, again, straight provision, per Precision. This is the only thing I don't have up a plus 10, um, and I wish the stats on the right were a little bit more on my side, but Valor's still good to have, so I'm not upset about that. It's just really hard to get those resources, but you see, we're 147 rocking this, and I already started a mission, which actually, if those of you who watched the other video, you'll notice it's the same mission I did to farm the upgrade module. So, we'll launch this, just so you can kind of get an idea of how hard this build hits. Okay, so, we walk around and get back here, um... If you guys watched my video about how I farm for upgrade modules, you'll notice this is the same mission again. I put it on challenge tier 4, um, and you'll see why, even with this build, as long as you don't get hit, you hit like a truck. Um, and that's one of my favorite things about it, is the consistent nature, right? So not only am I hitting start, hard, and I do have my build fast. more Their towards rockets, and I'll show you what I'm running there, uh, and Everyone why get in position. just to kind of show you the Ready. damage Awaiting your signal. This is tier 4, we're going to kill some enemy unit here, close to your location. who is 3 levels above us, we're not going to have to 1, 2, defeated. and what's that, 3, 3 hits down. Um, and, you know, because I have just slightly under a 20% chance crit, crit chance, it's not bad, right? So, I mean, I'm still going to crit here and there, and when I do crit, it's a ton of damage. But, even without critting, you're, you're just, you're one shot, at least all the little peons, and the bigger guys, you know, it takes a couple more, but, I mean, that, that's all there is to it. You fly around, you hit them with rockets, and you call it a day. And if you got somebody, you know, like the Hawk or Captain America who's playing with you, and they can taunt and tank the enemy so you don't have to worry about it, um, it's, it's, it just adds into what's in a fantastic combination of you just melting everything while they're taking all the brunt of the damage. So we'll come over here do the same thing. Uh, I've always been the kill all the fine things when it comes to Roger that, Commander. 
especially like turrets and stuff. But like, you gotta dodge, and scarabs, uh, and you still have like some heroic ability, right? So you can still do things when it comes to that. Um, but for the most part, it's just it's super, I don't want to say easy mode, but I mean, it kind of is, right? If as long as you can dodge and not get hit by like things like that, you're okay. Oh, okay. And then when you use your 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 EMP pulse, I mean, it just makes you even stronger, right? Because that buffs all of your stuff, plus you get unlimited attack for it for a while. So, so you can just spam now your super explosive rocket. Um, and, you know, repulsors and stuff still work really well. Uh, I'm a fan of the laser, even though the laser doesn't do a ton of damage. I wish it did more. Um, but it's really hard just to beat the rocket build. I think the rockets do the most damage. Uh, and as much as I would like to use the laser a lot more, I think the laser's really there for the AoE aspect of it and stuff. So I stick the rockets more more than I do anything else. But you can kind of see how this works. And, and again, we're on Challenge 4, so... I, I think it works best. And I mean, if you're using something else for Iron Man that works for you, please let me know. Let me know what you're using, how it works. Um, I'm wanting to try more just because I like variety, so I'd be down to hear it. Um, let me show you oops, exactly how my my masters are, my masteries are. So we go to skills, go to my masteries, everything else, you know, this is all just leveled up. Now here, um, again, I don't focus so much on the heroic abilities, but I do run uh, the Unibeam dropping heroic orbs just because... I find that that works really well, especially combined with this, because this just melts mostly anything. So if you can get four or five heroic orbs every time you use that, I mean, it never hurts to be able to spam this or get your ulti out because the ulti is really good. But as far as masteries go, I do run uh, the rocket specialization. That way they have the target, the, the guidance system, because that's very, very, very good and important, in my opinion, to how this works. Um, increased damage, again, by rockets, because that's what you're going to primarily use with this. And then what we got here, decrease the instant cost of rockets, that way you can use more rockets. Um, everything else is kind of just across the board standard stuff. Range attacks uh, up by 15%. I did try um, this right here, reduce the, but it, it never, I, I didn't notice it enough to matter, right? I'd rather have the 15% more damage versus that. Because if you, when you're using your rockets, if you don't like boom, 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 if you boom, if you, if you kind of pepper it a little bit, you know, dun, the dot, you really won't have that much of an issue because it does recharge decently well, especially when you run those heroic orbs. Uh, there is a perk over here, I believe, that increase the base regeneration speed. So because of that, it helps the regen speed of it just naturally, as long as you don't run out. Um, you, can, you can realistically do your rockets and not have to worry so much about running out of your instinct. So that's the build that I'm running. That's the build that I see working the best for me. Again, you're a glass cannon. If you have something else out there, if you guys are using, if someone out there is doing a crit build, I would love to see it. I'd love to know what you have gone into to make it the best because it's something I would be very interested in seeing and, and possibly doing myself just to change things up. I am working on Captain America next in terms of leveling him. Uh, he's probably my second favorite person to play. So if you guys enjoyed this video and like to see what I do with Cap, let me know uh, in the comments below and we'll probably work on that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And I hope you guys have fun. And like I said, if you see something else, let me know. I'd be down to hear it. Thanks, guys.